Hi, I'm Lindsay, and I've been showing dogs my whole life. I'm gonna walk you through a few of the basic tricks that we use with our dogs. And the guest with me today will be my dog, Fitz. Let's see if we can get him up here. Fitz, come. So Fitz will be joining us in the videos and he is a just turned one Irish Terrier. So we're still learning some of this stuff together as we go. And so he knows a lot of stuff, but Will he always do it for the camera? We're gonna find out. And that's important to know that in dog training, um, the dog can know it, but not always reliably do it because just like people, dogs have a mind of their own. Before we dive in, let's go over and establish some basic rules that every owner and handler should know when doing basic dog training or actually just any dog training in general. First and foremost is to make things fun. Now, your dog's learning curious, different things like that. So it should always be an exciting, fun time. If you find yourself getting frustrated or you see your dog losing interest, simply be done, but end on a positive note. Do something simple, like the dog responds to their name and you give them a cookie, or they've learned the first command that we're going to go over in a little bit, such as touch, and end on a positive note so that they're ready when they're ready and you're ready to re-engage in training the last thing was positive next for training you have to have a clicker and release word so what are those two things well you've probably heard of clicker training so instead of, instead of carrying around a clicker what you're going to do is create a word for it some people use yes uh, i personally use yep so they can know that uh, whatever we want to do just make it short and sweet so you can do it right away instantly one quick syllable is all you need for whatever that marker word is that's another name for it is a marker word now a release word signifies we're done training the exercise is finished we can take a mini break so some people use party i use okay that means we're done we're ready to go again i've heard other people use woohoo um, just something short that the dog can then know like, hey, we're done, we're partying, um, I did a good job. And then the third and final rule to follow, actually, sorry, there's going to be one more rule. So the third rule is to use treats. And we're constantly going to use, and we're going to use uh, small, uh, soft treats that can be broken up. And this is because we want to, with positive reinforcement, the reinforcement's going to be with that marker word, we're going to give a treat. Now, eventually you space that out, but when we initially start, we want to mark it, give a treat, mark it, give a treat. And so we're going to be constantly treating our dog and developing that food motivation, that food drive that we want to see in our dogs when training. It makes it a lot easier than using a toy. Now, if your dog's really not food motivated, you can use toys. There's just usually a little bit of a break because you can't always just throw a toy right away and then get right back into doing that word. So it really helps develop that food drive. And the final lesson is we're gonna keep it super short. Dog training in each section should only be a max of like 10 minutes at most at a time. And your dog needs breaks. So ideally, actually, I do micro sessions of five, even three minutes, especially if it's a new trick. And then we stop and we go back. It takes multiple repetitions, but we can only do so much with our dogs because they have limited capacity. So the first command we're going to start with is touch. And this is a good way to build in some rapport with your dog and also create um, some good team bonding. And this can be a foundation for come because the goal is that the dog's going to be coming in contact with your hand. They're literally going to touch your hand. And I do this different than like high five or shake my dog. So touch is usually with a fist is how I help differentiate it. Other people do do touch with an open hand, um, but that's just one way that I differentiate mine with my dog uh, or dogs so they are clear on that. So what touch is, is just, it's, a, it's a simple game where we're, as soon as he touches the nose, I'm gonna use that uh, praise word that we've talked about. So ours is yip, and then he knows he did something right. And then when we're first learning this, we're gonna get a treat immediately after uh, each time that we do this. 
And it may take your dog a while, but it also is good to start with treats in your hand. So therefore, um, you're, you can automatically give it so you don't have to dig in a pocket. And you can start just by breaking them. Those little treats that I showed you earlier, I actually break them in half. My dog doesn't need a whole one even though they're already small, especially if we're going to be doing lots of training. Um, I try to not fill him up with that. And so we're just gonna start and I'm just gonna put my hand out like this and I will say touch. As soon as his nose hits, at the exact same time, I'm gonna say that yip and then give him a treat. So touch, yip, and give him a treat because his nose touched my hand. I'm gonna say touch, yip, get treat. And you can change, you can do the same hand over and over, but switch hands, give back and forth. But for now, when we're just learning, every time he touches, yip, we're gonna give that treat right away. So touch, yip, right away. And then as he starts to understand, or she, your dog, understands these commands, we can add in um, delays in between. So maybe I'll do two touches before I give a treat. So I'll say, if it's touch, yip, if it's touch, yip, and then I give a treat. And so we're building this. And I can say, he can literally be out in the yard and I can say, Fitz, touch. He'll come sprinting. Oh, yep, good boy. He'll come sprinting all the way in. And sometimes they lose a treat. He jumps off and that's okay. Up, yep, sit, yep. And so he can be sprinting from the back of the yard. If I say touch, he'll come touch my hand. Yep, he gets a good job. And after a while, Yep, doesn't always have to mean treat machine, but when we're first starting to train, positive reward, positive reinforcement is going to be essential to develop that. So again, it's just something as simple as fits, touch, yep, good boy. And he even knows that the fist means touch, so sometimes before I even say the command, he'll come touch his nose to my hand. Touch, yep, good boy. And then after the dog understands it, you can start to do touch, and just instead of just in front of their nose, you can do, uh, you know, touch, wave in the air. You can be like, fits, touch, yep, good boy. I can do fits, touch, yep, down here. All right, and so you can make it a game and play a lot with your dog as soon as they get it. And so this is a fun way to do it. You can move around, right? You can run over here and say, touch, and you can run over here and say, it's touch, like, good boy, yeah. And you can do all that. And then when you're done training, remember your release word. Okay, yeah, and we party, because dog training is supposed to be fun. Sit is easiest to teach when the dog is in front of us, but we'll go over how sometimes we want to practice on heel position. It's gonna be a little difficult for this video just for the space that I landed in, but heel position is essentially your dog um, on your left side with his ear lined up right on the shoulder. And so, cause some people struggle after they teach sit to get their dogs to um, sit in heel position because we always teach it with our dogs initially in front of us and That's not a problem. It's just something to be mindful of if you do want your dog to eventually Sit beside you and not always in front of you that you'll have to practice that sitting beside you So we're gonna have our dog now since Fitz knows this I'm gonna have to make him stand and we're going to practice just by luring practice that luring command so Fitz. So I have him stand and then I'm just gonna take my treat that I have that is already in half like we talked about and just gonna raise it over his nose and say fit sit. All right, so fit stand, come on, stand. Yep, good boy. Sit, yep, good boy. He's very food motivated, so he's trying to get the treat before. If you have a dog like that, make sure you do not reward that. If he does it at the same time that you, yep, we're gonna cancel that and start over because you don't want him always going for that. So, oh, thank you for doing other treats. Stand. So we're gonna practice again. So when your dog's standing, you're just gonna lure over the nose, say sit. No, see, when a dog does that, we don't reward that. Nope, not okay. So stand, sit. Oh, pretty sit, yep, good boy. Okay, so he did sit pretty there, but eventually you just want it. It's the same thing. We're just gonna lure the nose and we're gonna say sit right there. And there is a game you can play, bonus tip, because you don't want your dog to do that, of you take a treat slowly over their nose, and they should be calm like this. Uh-oh. You, you can give the uh-oh command, because they should not be going for it. So he does not get it till he calms down. Now he's doing other things. So this is something to work on with your dog to make sure they're not going after it. We're not going to reward that. So that's another thing that can happen um, when training sit. So we're just, wait. So you should be waiting. Okay, and we can give it to him. We have that release word. And again, once your dog knows that, then you can mix in our first one. Touch, yep, touch, yep, touch, yep, sit, yep. 
and you can make a little game out of it. Number three, down. Now there's two ways to teach downs. You can teach it from a sit, or you can have what's called an accordion down, which is from standing. And I'm gonna show you both ways. The most common one that most people probably know is from a sit. And so we'll start with that one. So first you're gonna have your dog, since we've already worked on sit, they're going to be sitting. So if it's sit, sit, yep. So we're starting from a sit, and we're going to do the luring that we've just practiced like when we went up with a sit. So instead with a down, we're going to go down. And make sure when you're teaching down that you only use down for the command that you want for down. If you want to say lie down, then you're going to say lie down here. And down also does not mean then get down off of something. You have to use a different command unless you want them to down on whatever they're on. Because dogs know the command. So for us at our house, when we don't want them on anything, we say off. Yep, good boy. All right, back up. And so we have different ones because down, down, yep, means we lay down. So that's another key piece and sometimes an error of dog training. So just make sure of whatever you're going to use for the dog to lay down is that always that command. And if you want them to get off of something, it's a different command, such as off. All right, so we're going to have start with our dog and sit. Yep. And we're just going to lure and just go down. And your dog may not go down right away. Fitz already knows this. So they may um, put their head down and just try to get the treat. So you're going to have to hold that treat there until they get their elbows down. Then you're going to cue them with that positive word, that yep. So again, um, you're going to start with your dog and sit. Sit all the way up. Yep. And then you're just going to lure him down with down. Yep. And as soon as he hit, we yipped and gave him that. So now let's move on to the accordion down. And this one's really cool because instead of going down with your front feet, um, the dogs kind of push back into it and lean with their butt actually. And so, oh, he's already up. So this one's good from a stand. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put the treat right in between their front feet. And then that's gonna help them when they put their head down, push down. Oh, he laid down. So, all right, stand. So we're gonna stand him back up, stand, wait. And so I'm gonna put this treat right in between his legs. Say down, yep, uh-oh, I yipped too soon, so I better wait till it, yep, goes all the way down. So as you can see, he pushes back and then his butt goes down. And so this is a way to get a really fast down that the dog doesn't have to sit first and go down. So it's just your preference on how you wanna teach it. I really like this method because he can drop on a dime. He can be out running like a wild man in the yard and if I say fits down, he stops and downs that way. Next we have place, and it's a little unconventional because this is usually on the floor, but place is essentially um, a area where you want your dog to relax and stay. So it's really good training for when people come visit or um, you're in a delivery, you want your dog in place to stay calm, chill, and relax. Now we use a raised cot dog bed for a place but you can actually just use a dog, special dog blanket, a towel, whatever you have works for place. And how we start this is we just want the dog to get used to knowing the command means place. Uh oh, place. Yep. <clears throat> I gave a little correction because he knows he's supposed to down on place. Now you don't have to have your dog down on place, but it usually means they're more relaxed, more comfortable, and can engage better that way. So. Um, we have our dog on place. Now, how you're gonna start place is you're actually just gonna get them to stick one or two feet on at a time. After they get comfortable putting two legs on when you say place, you say place and you're gonna get them all on. So we want him to stay there. I should be able to talk to you the whole time and he stays. So two feet on, yep. Um, off, repeat, repeat till we start to get that. If they automatically go all four on, we're gonna yip that. We don't have to start with just two feet. So whatever your dog's willing to do, if they're a little apprehensive, one foot first. If they're all in, all four. And start with that and then do the commands that we've already learned of sit and down. And then you should be able to walk away and they stay in place overall.
Okay, all done. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Party.